Do you have the disconnected error when trying to play Halo Infinite? Many users on PC and Xbox have encountered this issue since Halo Infinite's release in November 2021. Here are some things you can do if you're getting a you have been disconnected error message when trying to play Halo Infinite. By the way, please like and share our videos to help those who might have the same issues so that we can help them too. Once you're done, then let's begin. First, restart your PC or Xbox console. It is important that you restart your computer before proceeding. If you've left your computer on for a long time and suspect a network issue is to blame, this easy fix might do the trick. Next, verify the server status. The Halo Infinite servers may be unavailable at any given time for a variety of reasons. However, most of the time, an unexpected glitch is to blame for server issues and not a lack of capacity. Check xbox.com to discover if there are any current issues with the Xbox Live service if you're using an Xbox machine. It's possible you won't be able to play any online games on Xbox if Xbox Live isn't available where you are. Next, restart your modem or router. If you're having connection issues when playing a game online, trying restarting your modem and router can help. The best way to restart your machine and reset its internals is to switch it off and disconnect the power cable from the wall for 30 seconds. Once that's done, plug everything back in and see if your Halo Infinite connection is functioning properly. Next, check your download speed. Disconnection issues in Halo Infinite might occur at random or occur frequently. Check your download and upload speeds by performing a speed test on your computer or gaming console. A minimum of 10 Mbps download and upload speed is required to keep a respectable connection to the server. A Halo Infinite connection lost error could occur at any rate below that. Next, update the network adapter drivers. In the event that Halo Infinite still won't connect, try updating your network adapter drivers. Ensure that you have the most recent drivers installed for your network cards by checking their manufacturer's website. Next, try playing with a VPN. Remember that there is a double edge to the sword of VPN use. It can help some people get a quicker connection by sending their packet signals to the closest server. This, however, may have the reverse effect on other users and, at best, slow down their connection. Please test the performance of the VPN you're considering using the free versions of the service first. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it. If you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends, this can greatly help in making Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.